Good afternoon. Today I would like to share some information with you all. It's a very popular topic nowadays, and I think it's important and it's very interesting for us to discuss about it. It's a so-called genetic modified baby or genetic modified embryos or design babies. So this all means that we can manipulate certain genes in the embryo stage, then the offspring may carry certain features or enhance certain features or minimize or eliminate some kind of mutated gene contributed factors basically means certain kind of disease. Now before we start the discussion, first of all I would like to use 30 seconds of your time to review or brief you some basic knowledge which will make our discussion easier. So this is a human egg. This is a human egg, or this is a human egg. This is the egg after fertilized, after became embryos, advanced stage embryos. Until reach the stage embryo, ready for implantation, it's called pre implantation embryos, or we call it blessed stage embryos. And this embryo eventually became a human being and all the embryo carry the genetic material in chromosomes. These chromosomes carry many, many genes. The chromosome carry genes and the genes are made with the DNAs of genes. So each Code of genes standing for a certain phenotype of the human body. But sometimes we may make error in the editing of this gene that can cause disease. So now let's talk about modified or genetic modified babies. So the modern technology not only can detect a certain kind of genetic disease, let's say pick up a very common disease, Let's say pick up the so-called X-linked recessive inheritance. Don't worry about too much te technical details. But I just want to tell you that one of the chromosomes, the gene from one of the mommy had a kind of error. So the offspring carry this disease, the gene can have a consequence, either have an abnormal baby or the baby can carry a still gene and one day may cause disease in the future offspring. So these kinds of genes, we can now edit, we can eliminate or modify, make this part same as this good part. So the offspring will not carry this disease anymore. So this is called the gene editing or modification of genes at the embryo levels to make the future offspring carry normal condition after you transfer these modified embryos. So the gene editing can be done before egg fertilized or after egg fertilized. And this is the most two popular place you can edit the genes. So in the future, the embryo will eliminate this disease genes, meaning that no longer carry these disease genes, so you have a normal spring. Now, you may ask a question, why do we need to do that? We can do pre-implantation genetic screen or pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, which has been practiced for the last uh, 20 years. That means we can just pick up this embryo, which carries normal genes, not the disease gene, and we just leave this embryo out, not for transfer. This is what the genetic di diagnosis is all about. You made a few embryos, they can have uh, this kind of condition, this kind of condition, this kind of condition, this kind of condition. 
you don't need to know too much details. Just uh, let me to tell you this one may cause problem with offspring, and you can pick up one of these embryos. So this is called a diagnosis. So difference one is pick up some right one. The genetic editing meaning that you fix these embryos. So the advantage, major advantage with genetic editing is that you are not creating a large amount of embryos than selecting right one, and when not being selected properly, this embryo eventually will die out or we said discarded. So in, in a way, it's kind of like you create lots of lives, but eventually you pick up the right one. Secondly, in many cases, lady with certain kind of genetic disease, they may not produce enough number of embryos for you to choose. So gene editing can solve these two problems, meaning that A, you are now selecting the embryo and leave some embryo out, you're actually going to fix all the embryos. Number two, it's more proactive. You're not passively looking for one normal embryo, which in many patients may not produce so many embryos, and you're actually gonna fix the embryos. So this is called a GMO, genetic modified babies, or we call embryo editing derived live birth, because you are doing the editing on the embryos. So after this discussion, I hope you learn, take home message is that gene editing, meaning that you eliminate or modify the mutated or the gene have error to cause disease. You can do this at the stage of embryos or fertilized eggs. And that's why the modification is done at the embryo stage. That's why you also can say gene modification in embryos or gene modified embryos, but eventually for the purpose to produce healthy life first. The difference between gene editing, designing baby versus which already been practiced, TGD, PGS, is that the new technology, new approach is a fixed embryo. When the older technology is looking for the right embryos among the embryos which have various kind of gene mutations. Thank you.